Have you ever thought about how much water you use each day? Now imagine a world where this precious resource is scarce. Water, the lifeblood of our planet, is at the heart of every thriving civilization. We need it for everything, to quench our thirst, grow our food, power our industries and sustain our ecosystems. But our world's freshwater reserves are under threat. Factors like climate change are altering weather patterns, leading to more droughts and less predictable rainfall. Overpopulation is putting immense pressure on our water supplies as more people mean more demand. And let's not forget unsustainable use. From wasteful irrigation practices to pollution, we're depleting and damaging our water resources faster than they can replenish. As the world's fresh water reserves dwindle, we face an unseen crisis that could change life as we know it. Water is not evenly distributed around the world, and this imbalance could lead to conflict. When we examine the world's water resources, we see a stark contrast. Countries like Brazil, Russia, Canada, the United States and Indonesia are blessed with bountiful freshwater supplies. Their rivers flow freely, their lakes brim over, and their underground aquifers are plentiful. However, flip the coin and we find nations grappling with chronic water shortages. Arid regions, particularly in areas such as the Middle East and parts of Africa, are often left parched. In these places, every drop of water is precious, every well a lifeline. This unequal distribution of water, this stark contrast between abundance and scarcity, is not just a matter of geographical luck. It's a potent brew that could stir the pot of global conflict. As water resources dwindle and demand rises, these disparities become increasingly pronounced. This imbalance in water resources sets the stage for potential conflict. Why would water scarcity lead to conflict? Let's delve into the reasons. Firstly, water scarcity can become a matter of national security. In a world where fresh water is in short supply, nations might prioritize their own survival over international cooperation. They could take drastic measures such as cutting off or restricting water flow to downstream countries. This could trigger diplomatic crises or even military standoffs. Next, we need to consider shared resources. Many of the world's major rivers cross international borders, serving as lifelines for multiple nations. But what happens when these shared resources start to dry up? Disputes over dwindling water supplies could quickly escalate into serious tensions or even full-blown conflicts. Finally, we mustn't overlook the role of water as a conflict multiplier. Water scarcity doesn't just mean less to drink, it means less water for crops, leading to food insecurity. It means less water for industry, exacerbating poverty. And it means more people migrating in search of resources, leading to overcrowding and social tensions in the regions they move to. These conditions create fertile ground for social instability and violence, further fueling the cycle of conflict. Just imagine, desperate populations struggling to secure their share of shrinking water supplies. Picture nations driven by survival, taking measures that could spark diplomatic or even military crises. Envision rivers, once symbols of shared prosperity, becoming flashpoints of tension as their waters recede. And consider the ripple effects of water scarcity, the poverty, the hunger, the displacement, and how these could stir the cauldron of conflict. But this isn't just about painting a doomsday scenario. It's about understanding the potential consequences of water scarcity so we can take steps to prevent them. It's about recognizing that our actions today will shape the world's water map of tomorrow. The struggle for water could become a catalyst for conflict, turning this life-giving resource into a source of tension. History has shown that water can indeed be a source of conflict. Let's journey through time to understand this better. Our first stop is the arid landscapes of the Middle East, where water scarcity has been a bone of contention for centuries. The Euphrates and Tigris rivers shared by Turkey, Syria and Iraq have been at the centre of disputes over water allocation for decades. Similarly, the Nile River, the lifeline for Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia, has been a hotbed of tension. We then travel to South Asia, where India and Pakistan have grappled over the waters of the Indus River. The Indus Water Treaty of 1960 has kept major conflicts at bay, but tensions persist due to increasing water stress and population pressure. 
These examples are a stark reminder of how water scarcity can sow the seeds of discord. The past warns us of the destabilizing power of water scarcity. Despite the dire predictions, there are reasons for hope. As we navigate the turbulent waters of global water scarcity, potential solutions emerge, creating a beacon of optimism amidst the uncertainty. One of the most powerful tools at our disposal is cooperation. Water knows no borders. It flows freely from one region to another, binding nations together in a shared responsibility. The past has seen successful water treaties that have averted potential conflicts, proving that diplomacy can indeed prevail over discord. When nations choose dialogue over dispute, they can manage shared water resources equitably and peacefully. It's a lesson in unity that we must carry forward into our future. But cooperation is just one piece of the puzzle. Technological advancements are also playing a pivotal role in addressing water scarcity. Desalination, for instance, offers a promising solution, transforming seawater into fresh water to hydrate arid regions. While challenges exist, including high costs and environmental impacts, ongoing research and innovation are making desalination more accessible and sustainable. Furthermore, better water management can maximize our existing resources. This might involve implementing efficient irrigation systems, reducing water waste in our homes, or repairing leaky infrastructure. The idea is simple. By using water wisely, we can stretch our supplies further. And then there's sustainability. It's a word we hear often, but it's at the heart of a water secure future. This means investing in clean energy to lessen our impact on the climate, adopting responsible farming practices to conserve water and protecting our natural ecosystems that play a crucial role in the water cycle. Sustainability isn't just a trend, it's a necessity. With collaboration, innovation and sustainability, we can turn water from a potential source of conflict into a force for peace. It's a future worth striving for where water scarcity doesn't lead to conflict but to a global community working together to safeguard our most precious resource. That's the kind of world we should aspire to and the journey begins with each one of us.